What's for lunch, Ruby? Bro, we straight carb loading, G. You see that pasta? <laughs> pasta oh, and okay. then rice and then bread. Oh, I love it. Hey, look, um, going into to another test week off the back of such a, a dominant win, what's the feeling like uh, between you guys? I'm sure conf- okay. confidence is, is quite high. Um, yeah, we're feeling pretty sore. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're recovering this the last few days, um, but we're excited for the rest of the week and um, our second test. Yeah, it's and, you know, COVID, I know it was a while ago, but it's really cool to be on tour, like on a tour and travelling out the country. We won't get opportunities to do that because it's Home World Cup, so it's, um, yeah, it's a buzz, eh, to be able to travel. Pretty grateful. Yeah, and just with that, uh, the test that comes with it, travelling away from home, playing against um, your home fans, I mean, that must add to, to quite good preparation for what's to come uh, later this year. Yeah, absolutely. And can I just say, everyone that's here, thank you so much for... Um, you know, covering our teams, been been here a long time and sometimes no one comes. So thank you so much for um covering women's rugby. Really, really appreciate it. But yeah, there's no bigger test than playing in front of your own. Um, you know, doing the hucker in front of New Zealanders, that's that's a lot of pressure. Um so yeah, we don't take that lightly. Um it's and it's also a huge honour. And just looking at, at last week and the and the dominant win when you start this week again. What do you look at? Is it resetting and, and sort of starting again or building on what you did? I mean, for you guys, what's what do you want to improve on from what happened in, in Christchurch? Yeah, so we are looking at improving our one percenters, just a, a little few things in the line out and the scrum and our um, forward pods, just the execution um, out wide as we know we missed um, some opportunities. Um, so we'll look to capitalise on that this week. Plenty more and, to go, mate. <laughs> just, uh, just, just finally, from me, is there, is there a feeling around the team, especially after a performance like that, and and what you guys have to come? That there's a special feeling within this group that um, building into this year and into the World Cup, you can achieve something special. Oh, absolutely! This is huge, man. I I don't know if New Zealand gets it yet. This is huge. We can bust open the door of women's rugby and keep dominating our national sport around the world, or we can miss it. Um, we this is we're serious about this. We understand how big this is, and you know rugby means so much to each and every one of us. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to show the world that you know England's got the next World Cup. It's confirmed, but we're here right now. New Zealand's got this opportunity now. It's up to us. Are we going to take it? Well said. Go well, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers, brother. Well, hi, hello. It's uh, Joe Pest there from Stop Club. First question will be to you, Joe. You know, you you obviously played in Europe last year. Um, what sort of strides have you seen from the forward pack uh, since uh, that tour of Europe? Um, yeah, so from the forward pack, we've been working on um, everyone being ball players and keeping the ball alive um, and identifying the space in front of us and um, attacking it. So that's a big change from the northern tour in the forwards. And I reckon too, Joe, this chick... Hey, her name's Jay, your name's Jay. She's she's like playing outstanding. This is the leading lock in the country right now and to go through what she went through in the India tour and come out this back end, like it's you know, special people are getting their moment and Joe's definitely one of them. So she's she's humble but she's doing amazing. I get that's a good good comment because it sort of leads on to my next question about like you know you guys have sort of been together this group say for about what four or five months or so. Um how far do you think you've come in that time as a group? Um, yeah, we've come super far. Like, <laughs> we've got a, an amazing bunch of girls, um, super young and experienced as well. And um, coming together as a team has been awesome. And seeing how far we've come with our great coaching staff that we have and what they're able to um, get out of us. And that there's only six or six and a half weeks for the. The world, the first World Cup game, um, with that, I guess, comes a lot more of like in, you know, intensity, edge, etc. And obviously, it's some big selection decisions to make soon, and some tough calls to make. I mean, is, is that sort of edge? Can you feel? Can you guys feel that in the playing group at the minute? Yeah, absolutely. I think in-house competition is extremely healthy. And if I'm honest with you, you know, I get a bit bloody racked up when Aisha's scoring all these bloody tries, and I'm not, you know. But I think that's really good because it just you just push each other. 
Um, and there's only four days to our next game. So that's it. that's our focus at the moment. We're just trying to make this team um, for this week, and it's that's hard enough in his bloody self because Smithy's done a really good job of letting everyone have a good crack and saying, you know, here's your opportunity. You show us what you got. And if somebody, you know, does really well in your position, it makes you all want to be even better. So absolutely, there's in-house competition, and absolutely, we're pushing each other to the limits. And I think that's how it should be. You know, we're here to make each other better. I guess. Um but for my last question would be to you just on, on yourself but you've been in, uh, with this team now for about five months I mean oh, how, how settled are you how sort of comfortable are you with the switch you've made um, ahead of the World Cup <clears throat> comfortable's not close I'm extremely honoured lucky and privileged to be in this team it's been a dream for so long and I, I just didn't know when or how and you know, it's it's cool that Bunce is over here. I, I've seen Wayne Smith at talks for years, being like, man, I wish I could get coached by that guy. Holy wrecker, Nick Minna, he's our coach. Um, you know, amazing people like Joe, there's a lot of Samoans in here, I'm half Samoan, feel at home. There's just, there's so many reasons that being in this room and in this team is just so, so special. And, oh man, I just, every young girl out there should try and make this team. It's, it's hard to explain, you know, in words to you here now. Um, I wish you could come in and behind the closed doors, eh, and see all the jokes that they're telling and all the banter. And uh, There's nothing like walking down the main street of a city you've never been in with, you know, a tight Ford next to you or a front row walking next to you. Like, I could do anything. Nobody going to mess with me now. So it's it's pretty special to be in this team. And, yeah, I can't believe it bloody didn't do it earlier, to be honest. It's so much fun. Cool, thank you. All the best. Thanks. Cool. I think Kate might be on air. Not sure, uh, Clay or Nikki, any questions from you or are we wrapping up? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, guys. Clay from oh. RNZ here. Hi, Clay. Um, you obviously had, like, Wayne, a new coaching team come in and, and there's been quite a big change in terms of the style of play, the tactics, that kind of thing. How close do you guys as players feel like you are to to nailing some of those things down that, that he's trying to trying to tweak and change ahead of the cup. Do you want me to go? Yeah. He's like an absolute genius, eh? Like, actual lives up to his name. But also, the standards are so world-class that I think we've definitely come a long way, but we all want to be better. So you could answer it in two ways. We've come so far in the last few months. Like, we just had a session and it showed that. But also, we all you know, have so much more to give to, and he loves pressure, you know, all those moments that some people might get scared of, it's like we're learning to just want them and crave them, so it's, it's a double answer, sorry it doesn't really answer, but we've come so far and learnt so much from this team, but also, man, I reckon there's a couple of people in this team that are just going to absolutely rip up and just transform and show the world what New Zealand's made of. And just in terms of um, the forwards with Crono, Mike Cron, he's been challenging us on um, doing some different things that we've never done and challenging our skill set. So um, we've just been introduced to some of these things and um, we're just only going to grow, like Ruby said, um, from here and on out. And those and those new coaches, not just well, I guess not just the new coaches, but some of the new players, the likes of Ruby, some of the other seven girls, and, and the other uh, girls that have come in, it seems like there's a like a really like infectious kind of like buzz within the team. Jonah, would you say that's fair? That's been a shift in the in the team over the last six months or so. Yeah, definitely. And when um when like Ruby and the Sevens girls come in, they add like so much mana and so much professionalism coming from um being full time athletes for um, longer than most of us. Um, so they just add so much to the team, and we love having them in. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All the best on the weekend. Cool. Any last questions before we let them finish lunch? <laughs> uh, yeah, just one from Nikki Skyers here at News Hub. Cool. I've just been listening to you, and I just sense that, gosh, you have led so much in such a short period of time. You must be almost thinking to yourself, mm -hmm. wouldn't it have been great if we'd had this opportunity before now to actually get ourselves to this point and beyond so that you really have the ground running when that World Cup came around? Would that be right? No, Nikki, sometimes you can think that, but at the same time, I just totally believe everything happens for a reason, and all those other 
players that have been in this jersey, coaches have added things that people will never know about and never see. So, you know, you could think that, but at the same time, I just think everything's happened as it's supposed to and, like, the best is yet to come this year because of the way it's happened. So ask me again in December. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, I love your enthusiasm. I can't wait to watch you guys all the best. Thank you.